the two exits closest to you. If an evacuation is required, please proceed calmly to the closest available exit and follow the direction of the Fenway Park officials and emergency personnel. Thank you for your cooperation. Enjoy the ceremony. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All degree candidates and their guests, please rise as you are able. Chief Marshal Professor Jeffrey A. Bourne will now lead the procession of the platform party.
please remain standing for the Air Force ROTC Detachment 355 Color Guard to post the colors and for the national anthem as led by Magali Baruzzi of the College of Professional Studies. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we've hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through perilous fight o'er the ramparts we've watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave That our flag was still there. Who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land? Good evening. I'm Alexander Levering Kern, Executive Director of Northeastern's Center for Spirituality, Dialogue, and Service. We gather today as people of many global faiths and secular traditions of conscience. Before I offer our vocal prayer, our invocation, Please join me in a moment of silence so that each of us might reflect in our own way upon the year just passed and the magnificent sweetness of this day. The ancient scriptures remind us, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Holy One, you have carried us through seasons of trial and trouble and gathered us here for this brief blessed time. And soon you will send us forth in joy. We thank you for these, our beloved graduates, for the radiant light that illumines their lives. May they apply their knowledge and power to fashion a world of justice, healing, and peace. We thank you also for our faculty and staff 
who've kindled our graduates' hearts and minds. And we thank you for these parents, these families, these friends, these partners, whose support and sacrifice have made all things possible. Oh, help us, God, to embody truth and hope in all that we do and at all things we ask you to bless us and keep us and to make your face to shine upon us from this day on and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening, class of 2021 for the College of Professional Studies. Are you excited to be here? Let them hear it. We're so excited to see all of you. It is my pleasure to welcome you all here this evening. My name is Mary Ludden, and I'm serving in the role of Interim Dean of the College of Professional Studies and Senior Vice Chancellor of our Global Campus System. Good evening to our graduates, their families, our faculty, our staff, those joining us around the globe via live stream across our global network, and distinguished guests from our university and alumni community. Welcome to the Northeastern University College of Professional Studies graduation ceremony at historic Fenway Park. We're here tonight to celebrate the extraordinary academic achievements of this class of 2021, and we couldn't ask for a more exciting venue to do this. On behalf of President Ayun, Provost Madigan, Chancellor Henderson, our faculty, staff, and alumni of Northeastern University, I wish to congratulate each of you. I would also like to thank you. Thank you for your inspiration, your determination, and your intellect. Thank you for the contributions you have each made to Northeastern's intellectual community and those you will continue to make as you go forward from this day. It's truly an honor for all of us to celebrate you and honor you on this momentous day. This evening, we will reflect upon your significant accomplishments and successes. Through your global engagement, you have developed the cultural competencies needed for a lifetime of contribution in a fast-paced, diverse, and global society. Through your experiential learning activities, you've addressed pressing real-world problems and are well prepared to lead from your experience in the workplace. Your transformative Northeastern education has challenged you and you have challenged us and enriched the lives of those around you. You have shared your passion and ideas with the world. You have inspired us with your adaptability, resilience, acumen, and multitasking as so many of you balance family, professional, and community responsibilities along with your studies. And every single one of you persevered through the disruptions, difficulties, and heartache of a global pandemic to arrive at this day. So many important things stopped or slowed down across the globe or paused in this past year, but not our students and not each of you. Graduates, the day you've been working for for the last couple of years is here. You are about to receive your degree from Northeastern Global Spanning Forward-Looking College of Professional Studies. I have a few questions to ask our graduates today, and as I do, I hope you'll stand so that we can see the truly extraordinary student body that the college has. How many here today are coming to the Boston College campus for the first time? Stand up. Wow, welcome. Welcome to Boston and welcome to Fenway. You represent Northeastern's global network of learners. Students in the College of Professional Studies live, work, and learn all over the United States and all over the world, pursuing your degrees online, 
in hybrid formats, and through our network of campuses in Charlotte, North Carolina, Seattle, Washington, San Francisco, Silicon Valley, California, San Francisco, Toronto, Vancouver, and London in the UK. You all have learned to collaborate across double-digit time zones, and you graduate having already begun to build a national and global network of your own making. You have experienced learning without boundaries. How many of you came from another country to study at Northeastern? Please stand. Awesome. <laughs> Truly awesome. You too represent the global network of Northeastern and the College of Professional Studies. Many of you began your educational journey thousands of miles away from Boston, and your degree today is the culmination of your drive, determination, cultural agility, personal resilience, and courage to test yourself against new horizons. You have brought to the College of Professional Studies your globally informed perspective, enabling all of us, along with you, to venture outside of our own boundaries. How many among you are US military veterans, active service members, or members of military families? Please stand. All right. Thank you for your service. The College of Professional Studies is the home college to more than half of the student veterans, service members, and military family members studying at Northeastern University. Our student veterans bring to the College of Professional Studies the values of courage, vision, and dedication to the greater good, along with all the experience and know-how you earn through your military service. We are all inspired by your example. How many of you, of our graduates, are earning your bachelor's degree today from the Lowell Institute School? Please stand. All right. I see you back there. You represent the ongoing development of a vision that began in Massachusetts almost 200 years ago with the arrival of the first Industrial Revolution in the towns of Lowell and Lawrence. The first Industrial Revolution was driven by water, mills, and looms. The industries powering our economy today work with microscopes, microscopes, molecules, and data. And the degrees you've earned granted by the Lowell Institute School prepare you to work in the forefront of emerging fields such as biotechnology. The knowledge and know-how brought to the world by the Lowell Institute graduates advances not only individuals, but also entire communities towards our shared goal of inclusive prosperity. How many of our students participated in an XN project or a co-op? Please stand. Wow, fantastic. You ex exemplify Northeastern's commitment to experience-driven learning. At the College of Professional Studies, we don't ask anyone to wait until after graduation to start changing the world. You've already executed meaningful projects for real-world clients ranging from biotech startups to neighborhood associations to the United Nations. You already know the deep satisfaction of putting your learning to work on a cause that matters. How many of our graduates would like to thank a faculty member or advising for helping you reach this day? Or how many of you have family and friends to thank for helping you reach this day? Please stand up. Take a moment and turn around and wave to your family and friends in the stands. They deserve it on this. And to all of you moms in the stands, happy Mother's Day on this weekend, including to my mom. Faculty and staff, Thank you for sharing your lifetimes of learning, experience, and wisdom with our students. Family and friends, thank you for entrusting us with the aspirations of your loved ones. We know that the world needs our graduates, and graduates, we believe you are more than ready to thrive in a world that's evolving with the speed of artificial intelligence. We honor all of your efforts today, and we trust you to create a more just and sustainable human future. Congratulations, graduates. Before leaving Northeastern University, you all honored the learning relationship by nomi nominating Outstanding Faculty for the Excellence in Teaching Award, a highly coveted award by our faculty. I now invite Professor Dave Hagen, a 2019 recipient of this award, forward to announce this year's award winners. Thank you, Dean.
Greetings graduates, families, guests, faculty, and staff. In this evening's celebration of academic achievement, we also recognize our faculty and the powerful impact that great teaching has on the success of our students and our community. Today we are recognizing two members of the faculty of the College of Professional Studies with the 2021 Excellence in Teaching Award. This award is based primarily on student nominations reviewed by a selection team for recommendation to the dean of the college. Teaching excellence encompasses various elements, the first being high intellectual standards in course content, rigor, and integration of scholarship and new knowledge. It is also defined by relationships and interactions as faculty and students make the journey together as collaborators in a community of learners. The selection committee received scores of student nomination statements that were a window into student and teacher interactions, whether they took place in the classroom, online, or on campus, in conferences, in portfolios or assignments, or in conversations. All of these interactions revolved around the exchange of powerful ideas that empower learners to be all they wish to be. It has brought you, our graduates here today, for a culmination of your academic work. On behalf of the college, I would like to thank you, our students, for making these nominations. It is a great honor for faculty to be recognized by their students. Among the praise shared by you, our students, about your faculty, there were two faculty who stood out this year. Those two faculty are recipients of this year's award for teaching excellence. We honor associate teaching professor Jacques Alexis. <laughs> professor Alexis is an expert in project management. He is passionate about sharing his knowledge and supporting students in building their careers in this crucial field that underpins industries and public works of every kind across the globe. One of his students captured the commitment Professor Alexis has to teaching. The student wrote, he is very knowledgeable and explains every topic in detail. He not only helps us within the class, but also after the class. He conducts seminars, spreading his knowledge and helping us grow in our careers. He guides us and helps us solve any difficulty. He is not only a good teacher, but also a good human. Very humble and passionate about his work, I want to become knowledgeable just like him. Professor Alexis, in recognition of your accomplishments, the College of Professional Studies is delighted to present you with the Excellence in Teaching Award. Congratulations, Professor Alexis. Thank you very much, Professor Hagen. I am humbled and deeply honored to receive this prestigious award. Being recognized by both talented students and brilliant faculty for the quality of my work here at the university is the most rewarding moment of my career as an educator, without doubt. I'd like to say many thank yous to my student who got out of their ways to nominate me, and to my colleagues from the award committee who voted to support my nomination. I am profoundly grateful. Well, when I'm not speaking about business economics, or management of some sort. I'm known for being a man of few words. Tonight, I will live up to this reputation and I promise not to take long. Before I end, however, I'd like to share a very short story with you. When the pandemic hit last year, I knew I needed to find a new way to maintain the quality of education we provide here on campus. I needed more feedback more often to understand how best to promote 
and inclusive learning process in this new environment. So I turn to an innovation concept called co-creation, which is the simple but powerful idea of creating products and services with stakeholders. I reach out to my colleagues at the Center for Advanced Teaching and Learning through research, also known as CATLA, and to you, my students, to understand how best to approach this new environment. And the results were fantastically positive, not only for myself, but also for my students who became my collaborators in designing and implementing a new learning environment. So teaching during this pandemic taught all of us invaluable lessons that we can carry forward. We learn, applied, and improved together. We did it together. And we learn from our experience that uh, it is important to, to work together. Uh, events that were available only here on the main campus became available to everyone everywhere. And all of this happened because of your collaborative spirit, creativity, resilience, and motivation. These are characteristics, skills, tools, and techniques we need to carry forward. The year 2020 was very challenging, it is true. And the year ahead will also be daunting. But I know from the bottom of my heart that you possess the knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to face these challenges head on. Congratulations on your splendid achievement and my very best wishes to you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Alexis. And we recognize Professor Carolyn Boviard for the 2021 Excellence in Teaching Award. Professor Boviard incorporates decades of experience in the fields of entrepreneurship, economic development, and higher education into her teaching at the College of Professional Studies. Just two examples of her real-world expertise are serving as the former director of economic development for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and leadership of the specialty MBA at the DeMore McKim School of Business, including the launch of the new Master of Science in Innovation. That knowledge and experience are combined with a love of teaching, which is reflected in the nominations of her students. One student wrote, Professor Carolyn Boviard has continued to demonstrate outstanding patience, leadership, and a true passion for teaching during class despite the difficulties brought on by the pandemic. She has made the class very interesting and easy to engage with in an online hybrid environment that is not easily achievable. Professor Boviard, in recognition of your accomplishments, the College of Professional Studies is delighted to present you with the Excellence in Teaching Award. Congratulations, Professor Boviard. Hello, Huskies. It's an honor to be here today in your special day. My grandfather graduated in 1918 from Northeastern during the last pandemic. It took him eight years because he was supporting his family and working full time. At 17, my father went off to war 
And when he returned, he went to Northeastern. And he was the first in his family to graduate from high school and college. My daughter came from Russia and didn't speak any English. And this month, she's earning her second degree from Northeastern. I tell you these stories, my stories, because they're your stories. It's the international students who have traveled thousands of miles to come here to Northeastern and who have enriched our community. It is our veterans who have served and now nobly represent our school. And it's our older working professional students who have come back to school to earn a degree and to contribute their experience to the classroom. So I commend all of you that you have brought your hard work, your enthusiasm, your perseverance to make our community so rich. And so I salute you on this special day. For me, I always wanted to be a teacher. But when I was in college, there was no jobs. The prediction was there was no jobs when I graduated. So I pivoted. I did a different degree. And I had a long and rewarding career in business. But I never lost that dream to be a teacher. So in January 2020, I left my full-time job and I to teach full-time. I was scared. Could I make enough money? Did I know how to teach? Would the students like me? But I jumped in anyway, worked hard. A Couple of months into it, we had the pandemic. And so we shifted. And thanks to all of you, we made it work. So my advice to you is a couple of things. Is don't listen to people who try to discourage you from pursuing your dream. And don't be afraid to jump in. And finally, don't wait 40 years to make it happen. So do what you love, take a chance, because if you do what you love, it won't be work, and you will be good at it. So thank you so much for this award, this honor, and thank you for being part of my family. So congratulations. How about one more round of applause for our amazing faculty? Would you please stand our faculty on the platform? All of you, would our faculty on the platform please stand for a round of applause from our students? Thank you all. Every student's journey to this day begins with a vision of the future, what it will mean to study at a university, earn a degree, and graduate. For many of us, that vision is expressed with hope, inspiration, determination, and that certainly is true of our student speaker this year, Armaya Doremi. Armaya, who is a 2021 graduate of the Masters in Corporate and Organizational Communication, has been chosen by our faculty as our student speaker, and it is with great pleasure that I introduce you to our speaker, Armaya Doremi. Armaya? Thank you so much, Professor. Good evening, everyone. It's good to see you tonight. Before I begin, I want to thank God for the hold and blessing that he gives us tonight. I also want to dedicate this speech to my mother, who is watching me from Indonesia. I hope this speech will help her recover from her knee injury sooner. 
My mother told me she's so proud of me tonight. The same way, your family, parents, and friends are proud of you as well. I love you, Mom. Rani sayang mama. Today marks my three years and four months speaking English. What a way to celebrate it. Yeah, three years and four months. I am incredibly honored to be your commencement speaker. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank faculty and advisors for giving me this opportunity to speak in front of you tonight. Dear faculty, parents, family, friends, and of course, my fellow Huskies, the graduating of the class of 2021, welcome and congratulations. We made it. Tonight, I want to talk about the opportunity. The opportunity that brought me to this country. The opportunity to witness how multicultural and multilingual America embraced me. And the opportunity to be part of the Northeastern community. Growing up, I realized that my parents didn't have enough money to pay my education. So I started working when I was 15 to help my parents and pay my own bills. I worked as a singer and DJ, a very unusual occupation for a woman in a country where the majority, including me, are Muslim. I've always wanted to have a better education, but I never thought that it would be in America, in Northeastern University. I was driven to make my dream come true. My determination grew when I had an opportunity to work for a leader who supported women's rights in Indonesia. Then one day, my hard work and my effort were recognized when the governor of East Indonesia, Mr. Victor Bungtilu Laiskodat, offered me scholarship to study in America. And I thought to myself, wow, what an opportunity. Well, I was thrilled to even imagine that I could study in one of the top universities in the U.S., I had to be realistic because I knew my English was very, very poor. Yet, I persevered because I knew this opportunity will not come to my life again. Frequently described as a survivor, I knew how to seize the opportunity. I had only 10 months to prepare my study at Northeastern. So many doubted in my ability to succeed, except Mr. Governor and my mother. I studied English every single night overcoming the challenges of learning a second language that brought me into tears and disappointment, but I never gave up. Practicing my English, I talked to my mirror. I even talked to my wall, my conversational partners in a lifetime. My journey at Northeastern began with Global Pathways Program, the program that assured me to American graduate school. It laid a solid foundation for my success in a corporate and organizational communication program. While we can share a world of valuable lessons we learned, my Capstan project stands out for me. Professor Powers helped me prepare for a real-world setting and raise my awareness of the demands in the professional world. That experience inspired me to create an educational consulting business for my Indonesian people in Indonesia. I am confident with this Northeastern degree, we can pursue anything we wish in whatever capacity we're in. If you're an entrepreneur, find ideas that can make a difference in the world. If you're in public relations like myself, be someone 
who can make people understand what the reality is. As Sukarno, the first Indonesian president state, whoever wants pearls must dare to jump into the deep ocean. In other words, don't be afraid to take a risk because there may be something valuable, important waiting for you. I did. My fellow Huskies, there are some people out there who need our guiding hands, companies, individuals, community. We now have the capacity to create change in our environment. We have the capacity to use our creativity and expertise to help those who need the most. My non-eastern experience does not end here. It will stay with me everywhere I go. I will carry its spirit of creativity, innovation, and independent thinking through my journey in the professional world. This university made it possible for me to take on new opportunities. My fellow Huskies, this is the time. This is the time for us to take on a challenge. This is the time to persevere, no matter the hardship brought upon by pandemic or world calamities. Be brave. Believe in yourself. Keep up the spirit of Northeastern University. Last thing, this is out of my script. Let me make this night be more memorable. Birds flying high, you know what I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze dripping on by, you know what I feel. It's a new day. Is a new dawn, is a new love for us, is a new day, is a new dawn, is a new love for us. Ooh, and I'm feeling good. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have a new dean in the making of the College of Professional Studies. Thank you, Armaya, for your inspiring words, your beautiful voice, and your commitment to our university. Much gratitude to you. All right, members of the class of 2021, the moment you have been waiting for all evening and working towards through years of study is now here. Your degrees and course will now be conferred. Are you ready? I think we can do better. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, David Madigan, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates assembled here have qualified in all respects for the degrees and course. They have successfully completed curricula offered by the several schools and colleges of Northeastern University and have been recommended by the faculty and the Council of Deans to be awarded appropriate degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments. The candidates will now be presented to you by Senior Associate Dean Patrick Plunkett. After they have been presented, members of the graduating class joining us here today in Boston and online from points around the globe will please remain standing until their degrees have been conferred. I invite Senior Associate Dean Plunkett to the podium. Thank you, Dean. And my congratulations to all of you for your hard work. This is a great day for all of you. And right now, I ask that all candidates for all master's degrees and certificate of advanced graduate study, please rise. <laughs> Provost Madigan, it is my pleasure privilege and pleasure to present those candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degree of Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study, Master of Science, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Arts, Master of Professional Studies, Master of Science and Technical Communication, or Master of Sports Leadership.
Thank you, Dean Plunkett. By virtue of the authority of the Board of Trustees of the University, I confer on you and those who have properly qualified the degree of Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study, Master of Science, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Arts, Master of Professional Studies, Master of Science in Technical Communication, or Master of Sports Leadership, with all honors, privileges, responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. Candidates, please be seated. Candidates for all bachelor's degrees, please rise. <laughs> Provost Madigan, it is my privilege of presenting those candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degree of Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Science with specification. Thank you, Dean Plunkett. By virtue of the authority of the Board of Trustees of the University, I confer on you and those who have properly qualified the degree of Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Science with specification with all honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Please be seated. Our alumni are important members of the Northeast University family. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Tayaba Naz, a graduate of the classes of 2019 and 2020, to bring greetings from the alumni community. Ms. Naz graduated from the College of Professional Studies with a bachelor's degree in biotechnology and the College of Science with a master's degree in molecular biotechnology and is now a process strategy and development manager at Eurofins Lancaster Laboratories, where she oversees a team of scientists across the research and development platform in Cambridge and in Lexington, Massachusetts. I now invite Ms. Nas to the platform. Congratulations, class of 2021. You are the next generation of daring trailblazers, visionary thought leaders, and distinctive pioneers. You will change the way we think, communicate, and experience the world around us. Your potential is virtually limitless, and your ambition is unrelenting. Not only are you accomplished and gifted members of the class of 2021, you are a part of a thriving Northeastern network that is making an impact around the globe. I urge you to explore the many opportunities available to you wherever you begin your journey. With alumni, parents, and students living in more than 190 countries and a multitude of Northeastern communities around the world, you are empowered to both build connection to fortify your careers and play an active role in enhancing the Northeastern network worldwide. The Office of Alumni Relations is your catalyst to stay in touch with your lifelong Northeastern community. Keep learning, access career strategies, engage with thought leaders and idea generators, and find the resources you need to achieve what's next. And now, to recognize the tradition of the Northeastern Alumni Pin, a tradition that has been modified this year because of the pandemic, like so many other things. Usually, the member of the undergraduate class with the highest grade point average, your class marshal, would be on the stage at this moment. Your class marshal, Colton Murray, a summa cum laude graduate of the Information Technology Program, could not be here today. But please, join me in congratulating him. For those wearing your red alumni pin, 
Think of this each time you see it. This pin symbolizes your determination, resilience, and success, as well as your inclusion in a new Northeastern experience as an alumni. I'm thrilled to welcome you into the Northeastern Alumni Network and eagerly anticipate watching your stories unfold. Congratulations, class of 2021. Will all the graduates receiving their first degree please rise? As a symbol of transition from, from candidate to graduate, I ask each of you to turn your cap tassel from your right side to your left. Yeah. <laughs> I ask all graduates and Northeastern alumni in the audience to stand and join in singing the alma mater. Magali Feruzi will lead us in song. Words and music are in your online program and on the big screen. Please be seated. College of Professional Studies, Class of 2021. Uh, now it is my great honor to deliver my charge to you. The world is ever-changing, but you are prepared to meet and conquer its challenges. You've made sacrifices, personal and professional, that speak to your drive, your dedication, and your sense of purpose. Your love of learning has carried you to this day, propelling you to a life of achievement and fulfillment. Be proud. Know that what you have accomplished, and particularly this past year, is nothing short of extraordinary. And remember, Northeastern will always be there for you, wherever you are. Graduates, I salute you. Congratulations. Will all in the audience and the new alumni please remain seated as the platform party recesses? Thank you. 
Thank you all for attending today's commencement. At this time, the ceremony has concluded. We ask that you please make your way to the exits. Thank you and get home safely.